The Expendables may be one of the only film franchises that I've ever seen where it starts off pretty mediocre and just not really as good as people think it's going to be, but then slowly and steadily gets a little better with each film. The Expendables 3 stars. Alright, here we go. Here's a test of my memory. <coughs> Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Wesley Snipes, Antonio Banderas, Dolph Lundgren, Terry Crews, <laughs> Cut. Edit. Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Antonio Banderas, Wesley Snipes, uh, Dolph Lundgren, Terry Crews, Jet Li, Mel Gibson, uh, Kelsey Grammer, Harrison Ford, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Wait a minute. Where's Bruce Willis? God damn it! It's directed by Australian director Patrick Hughes. He's currently working on, I think, a remake of the Indonesian film, The Raid, which I haven't actually seen, though I really, really want to. Uh, but I really don't feel a remake of that is at all necessary, at least not yet. <laughs> Stallone and Statham once again lead the action hero ensemble, and they're up against an Expendables co-founder, Comrade Stonebanks, played by Mel Gibson. Uh, he's turned against the remaining crew of Expendables and is hell-bent on taking them out for good. Uh, the Expendables are running low, however, and must recruit a band of younger up-and-comers. And they're also able to recruit an old friend, Wesley Snipes, and the very motor-mouthed Antonio Banderas. Out of the previous two, this one surely has the best script and dialogue, and it's not all just sort of cheesy one-liners. These characters really do have some entertaining dialogue sequences and conversations. Uh, so yeah, the script really is a shot above the rest, pun intended. Uh, Wesley Snipes, Antonio Banderas, and Kelsey Grammer are highly positive additions to the franchise. They are just so funny and charismatic all the way through. Uh, the action is as cheesy and comically over the top as ever. Um, you get, it's so easy to just sit through all the gun battles and fight scenes and car chases just with a smile on your face. It's so good. People may have a problem with this one being only M-rated against the previous two's MA ratings. Um, I don't give a shit, but uh, and there's not buckets of blood flying around. And, and that's another thing. I think in the previous two, or in the first one at least, they have this CGI blood work and it just doesn't work. Like when, when people get shot and the blood sort of flies through the air and then kind of disappears in the air, you can't have that. It's just unacceptable. Get real liquid as your blood and then I'll be able to take it a little more seriously. The body count is high, however, and the action scene, or the fight scenes, are so brutally well choreographed that I'm actually surprised it didn't receive a mild MA rating. Uh, but ultimately, The Expendables 3 is what it is. You're not going to go in expecting Citizen Kane or The Godfather. You're going to go in, unplug your brain, and stare at some amazing, awesome, over-the-top action scenes for 100 minutes. Uh, and then probably forget all about it instantly after. <laughs> And of course, you'll be on board for the fourth installment. I know I will be. Uh, some additions for the fourth film I can think of, uh, and yes, there will be a fourth film, are uh, The Rock, Robert De Niro, and J.K. Simmons. By the way, if you have not yet seen Whiplash, what are you doing? The movie's goddamn incredible. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, be sure to uh, subscribe, comment, and like. Uh, on this video and uh, yeah, see you next time. Catch you later.